Hello, everyone. So there's this massive Chinese rocket. They say it's like 20 tons. Uh, it's supposed to crash into Earth this weekend. We, and we have no idea where it'll crash. But, you know, it's supposed to crash either, you know, late today or early tomorrow. I'm filming this at about 10.55 a.m., so, yeah. Yeah, it would be, you know, it would be, like, later tonight and maybe early tomorrow morning. Um, uh, okay, so Ben Affleck and Matthew Perry, that's, uh, Matthew Perry it played Chandler in France. They've both been using dating sites, you know, to find women. Uh, but Ben Affleck, you know recently got rejected, you know, by a 29-year-old woman, Ben Affleck. He's 48 years old, so that would be a 19-year difference. You know, the woman thought that Ben was a fake, you know, that, you know, that it wasn't real, so the woman rejected Ben, and then Ben had to send the woman a video on Instagram to prove that it really was him. Now, Matthew Perry, the Matthew Perry story is a different one, um, he was dating a 19-year-old woman. That is a 32-year difference. You know, barely legal. Um, yeah, very, very awkward situation for Matthew there. You know, I'm not sure if that relationship's still intact, but. Now, I find this absolutely appalling. Uh, Pfizer just asked the FDA recently for full approval of their vaccine. Now, in case you don't know, none of these vaccines have been approved by the FDA completely. The FDA has just granted emergency authorization of these vaccines without full approval. So that's why they're all defaults and... And they don't work, and people are getting the blood clots and all of that. Absolutely. And really, they've said they're not going to fully approve them until, you know, 2023. And Pfizer just asked the FDA, like, in the past couple of days for full approval. Oh, that's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. And they're fixing, they're fixing to vaccinate the... Uh, Teenagers 12 and older. Oh, gosh. Now I'm just going to say this. I'm not getting that vaccine until they have undergone, until it's undergone major improvements. Because, you know, I, what it is right now, it doesn't deserve full approval. Too many people are having adverse side effects. There's people who are having adverse side effects from just being around people with the vaccine. Really. So, these vaccines just aren't safe. They need to undergo major improvements. They were rushed far too much. And yeah, uh, it's just, just absurd that they're trying to just vaccinate the youngins and the youngins. And, and then there was this mother who was on the CBS Evening News yesterday... You know, she had her toddler son act as a guinea pig for her and got, you know, a tenth of an adult dose of one of those vaccines. That young toddler. That's absolutely absurd that you'd let your toddler take a faulty vaccine for you. Like, oh, I don't want to do it myself. Why don't I, why don't I have my child do it? You don't put your children down like that, okay? I'd rather she'd have done it than ask her child to. I don't even know if the child can talk, you know. I think the child can walk, but yeah. Just has little control over himself, and you just give him a vaccine. That is absurd. Okay, um, it's still May, it's, it's a bit chilly for this year, though, I think it's only supposed to be about 55 degrees, maybe 
50 degrees, you know. We're supposed to be in the upper 60s for highs um, in early May. And we are stuck in the 50s. We are stuck in cold, cold temperatures. Um, what else is happening? Oh, yeah. I heard the story of, you know, an 18-month-old girl. Uh, I think a car flick flipped over and she fell down into, into water, like, way down below her. So, okay, so this other man just jumps off of a bridge and goes to save her, you know. Picks up the girl out of the water, um, aggressively pats her back within seconds. She, she just spit out a lot of water. Um, no one died in this, fortunately. And all of the injured have since been released from the hospital. Wow, it's just amazing that no one died in that incident. Just amazing. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, jumping into the water... Josh Duggar's still in the darn jail. Um, oh yeah, Derek Chauvin and the other three officers involved supposedly in um in Der in, uh, George Floyd's death. They have been indicted on federal charges. Supposedly, you know, they violated Floyd's civil rights, you know, and... Two of those officers did not properly, you know, stop Chauvin from kneeling on the neck. They all saw, supposedly, that Floyd was in desperate need of medical care. And they willingly failed to aid him. Willingly failed to aid him. But I guess all of those words are straight out of the Constitution. You know, the thing is, though... Do they really apply to Floyd's case here? Do they really do so? Where do we draw the line with those constitutional rights? That's a good question that I haven't really considered up until very recently. Hmm. You know, where do we draw the line? You know, Biden's tried to draw the line with taking away our assault rifles, but we have the right to bear arms. There's no question about that. But, you know, Ben Crump, the Floyd attorney's lawyer, is trying to do, is trying to, you know, or not Ben Crump, but whoever's, whoever indicted them on federal charges, Chauvin and those officers, you know, they're just trying to take the full extent of the Constitution. They're not trying to bend it at all. They're just trying to get it out. And here's the question, you know, where where do we draw the line with constitutional rights? That's a question. That's a question that I'm still trying to ponder. You know, I, I'm still pondering upon that thought. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. I've got to go now. Bye.